Good evening YouTube and welcome to my very tidy desk. I'm going to show you today the updated proximity sensing that I've got for my Arduino OpenHab MQTT wall controller project. Um, if you don't know, this is a wall controller that will control your music and your lights and your central heating system and everything. That's the idea anyway. And previously I was using this little touch sensor um, IC from hobbytronics.co.uk which is a really great UK store. I um, highly recommend their um, little online shop. Now this chip though is, is a bit rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, it's the 12F683 from, I don't know who that logo is, probably it's obvious. Um, the reason I say that is because there's not much information about the chip on the website. Um, I don't know if there's, a, I don't think there was a model number last time I checked. Um, it's basically, it is a touch IC, um, but you have to kind of hook it up with resistors and we're talking one and a half meg ohms resistance. Um, but then to calibrate the thing, you're talking only a couple of kilo ohms. So it makes using it a little bit difficult because of course the um, atmospheric conditions might change or the weight of the human who might be putting their hand near it might change and all those kinds of things. And the new chip that I'm using is called the MPR121, which deals with all, all of those problems uh, very nicely, in fact. Um, I'm just going to turn the lights up. Uh, let's choose this one here. No, it's not bright enough. Let's go brighter. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Um, so anyway, the MPR121 comes on this breakout board from SparkFun. I actually bought mine. Um, SparkFun, thankfully, open sourced the design of their breakout board. Um, and so I bought mine from eBay for about £1.50 for three or, or two or something, which is ridiculously cheap. That's the chip itself. It's a tiny, it's in a tiny package. Um, I think all the best things come in small packages. And this is certainly a good example. This has got 12 electrode inputs. I'm actually only using one, but the reason I bought it is because it's got a 13th virtual um, electrode, they call it, which is kind of like a multiplexed version of all of these uh, summed together. It's, they internally sums the capacitance to give you a more accurate proximity reading. Um, I'm not using that functionality yet, um, and I will do once I've figured out how to program the registers on the chip, but for now, it's pretty ac accurate with proximity. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see all the lights on my, these these are the uh, buttons that I've got for my project and the lights on the buttons come on and the display light come on when I put my hand near. As you can see, it's not quite touching, that's touching and that's near. So that's proximity. Um, what I've got though, this is really cool, is I've got OpenHab to actually um, control how sensitive each wall controller in your home is. Um, so. Of course, this entire project is designed to control OpenHab, but I also use OpenHab to um, give the individual units their own settings um, using zero config that I've kind of dreamt up. It may not be the best implementation of zero config you've ever seen, but I think it works quite nicely. The Arduino has a MAC address that you give it and it gets its IP by DHCP um, and then it sends its MAC address over a setup topic to OpenHab, which is listening on the setup topic. And as soon as that MAC address is announced, OpenHab then responds with individual controller settings. Um, so the three settings I've got for this one are um, vector is bedroom. So that's the vector that we're going to send messages back on, the OpenHab um, topic that is. Um, and the zone name, lower ground bedroom, and the zone sensitivity, which I've set to 10. Now, if I set that to 30, and hit save and then reboot the Arduino, you're gonna see that it's a lot less sensitive and I probably have to touch the thing in order to get it to register a, 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 um, a proximity event. So let's see, wait for the lights to go off, they've gone. And let's see, my finger is not touching. Now it's, tu now, now it's still not touching, but they've come on. So yeah, it's still proximity mode, but it's much closer. What if I take this number down to something like five, then restart the Arduino. Um, this should 
be much more sensitive. I'm going to move away from the Arduino to just demonstrate that. Wait for it to boot up. I say boot up. I have um, programmed this little startup sequence, which I'll show you in a minute. The lights are still on and they're off. Okay, so they're, it's not too sensitive then. So I move my hand near it. Oh, it could, it could be even more, in fact. Let's reduce this to zero. This is my open hab rules file. And then I'm going to reboot. I'll show you this whilst we're going. Testing LEDs, MAC address, getting IP by DHCP. 247 milliseconds there refers to how quickly we're getting a response over MQTT, which gives you an idea of how quickly this thing's responding over the network and whether your server's slowed down for some reason or whatever. Um, put the hand near. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I can do a lot better than that. So what I'm going to show you now is the um, calibration. As I say, this chip has got some very clever auto calibration built in, but I'm not using that functionality yet. So for now, I've set this thing up called cap baseline of 650. Um, and this is a number that gets reported back from the chip for that particular electrode. And when it drops by 15, um, well, actually, it drops. This is the initial threshold that I'm setting. And of course, this open hub number will overwrite that. But um, if, if it receives it now, if I just take that out altogether, then it will it will be 15. Um, but let's change the threshold or the baseline rather, because that's a little too low. I reckon um, we can see. In fact, I'll show you the actual readouts, because in serial monitor, it's just going to reboot it because I've started serial monitor up. Um, let's quickly show you serial monitor and it's going to give us a real time reading of the capacitance values read out from the chip. And there we go. And we're away. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 669, 670. So if I set the baseline as, about, as 670 and the threshold as 15, so anything that goes below that 15 under the th under the baseline, let's change this to 670. Set the threshold, that's the initial threshold. So I'm going to also just make sure that open have doesn't overwrite it and set this one to 15. This should be much more sensitive, perhaps. So I've saved that. Oh, I need to upload my sketch. Um, and as you can see, we're using just quickly show you that 55k which is quite a lot of memory isn't it but thankfully we're on an arduino mega so we're all good um i have hugely optimized this code um but for the kind of functionality that i want um i'm afraid it does use that amount of memory thankfully our sram usage is is healthily low right we're back on and it's booted up and the lights go off. So now when I put my hand, it still needs to be quite close. Let's take the figure in open hub down to five and see what happens. Save and I'll hit reset on the mega. And it's resetting my little startup LED sequence you can see on this side. Oh, we missed it maybe. And we're booted. And we'll wait for the timeout and the lights go. Oh, the lights have stayed on. That must mean that the threshold is now the wrong side of uh, uh, right. Yeah, that's they're, they're on all the time. So anyway, this does demonstrate that we can control the threshold for proximity um, on a controller by controller basis from OpenHab. I don't need to mess around with the Arduino anymore on that one. So I've changed that to 10, hit save. Hopefully this is gonna be much better, It'll be more sensitive, but not so sensitive that it stays on all the time. Booting up, LEDs on. There we go, and it's gone off, that's much better. Let's see how close we can, ah, oh, that's much better. So when you get your hand, I'd say that's about 10 centimeters away it comes on and it's gone off. There's a couple of timeouts. The first is the LEDs go off. Second is that display dims. Oh, my hand's so near it, it's not working now. It's coming on again. So the LEDs, LEDs go out. 
the display then dims after the second time out. There we go. And then the... Oh, every time I move, this thing comes on. It really is very sensitive. I'm moving further and further away. Now, maybe that is too sensitive. Let's try not to move at all. No, perhaps there's someone on the other side of that wall. That's not unlikely. Anyway, you get the idea. With some judicious tweaking of this number here from within Open Hub, we can get this to be very reliable as a proximity sensor. The next step, of course, is to use it as a proximity sensor using its auto calibration feature. Um, I haven't quite got my head around the application note to get that working though. Um, I'll show you the application note. This is the MPR121 proximity detection from Freescale Electronics. And what it says is the MPR121 has a unique feature that all the electrode inputs can be internally connected together so that all the surface touch sensing area on the inputs are summed together to act as a single large electrode pad. This can effectively increase the total area of the sensing conductor for non-contact near proximity detection for hand approaching. And then a little bit below, it says, um, like each independent touch sensing detection, the 13th proximity detection electrode. So that is essentially a virtual electrode. It's not a physical one, um, which has its own register. Um, it kind of takes a multiplexed um, uh, addition of all of the 12 sensors um, and, and that's the number that it supplies back over I squared C. Um, that will give us much more accurate sensing. And of course, when you combine that with the auto sensing, uh, so the auto calibration um, and threshold, uh, dynamic thresholds this thing offers, we get very reliable touch sensing. So there we go. That's a little, little demo of my Arduino proximity sensing.